So, welcome back. Hopefully, welcome back. If not, hi to our new viewers. Uh, this is the first installment related to the previous video I made by myself about my creations. I haven't come up with a good name for it yet. Uh, like tutorials, things I come up with. I'll show you how I make them. Um, I can't always take all the credit for things. But, uh, yeah, so I will show you my first creation. It's a indicator with a button, not a lever. So let's see. Let's, let's go. And the door is open. I'll go in here. Red means it's open, which in this case, I made it mean bad. Ooh, diamond. I knew those were in there, so I'm not really surprised. So you go in there, it's like, yeah, and then you want to close it again. Security. Well, not really. It's a wooden door, so. Yeah. Let's go to survival real quick. And just, oh. No fly mode. Never mind. Let's stick to uh, creative. So, it's not all that complicated, as it looks. You can, of course, swap these colors around depending on what you want for your output. Or you can just in invert the output. It, it's all up to you. Now, I'm using wool to signify different pathings here. Uh, related modules to it, I, would, I guess I could call it. Um, now, I didn't come up with some of these switches and stuff. I just put them all together. A lot of the credit has to go to Seth Blaine. Uh, I watch a lot of his videos and I really like this. I think this is the T flip flop. No, I'm sorry, this is a pulser. A one tick pulser. Uh, where dish, dish thingy. This is the flip flop. Yeah, flip flop. Uh, and this is the key component to this. It, what it'll do is basically when you press the button, it alternates its output. Oh, I should mention, this only works on 1.5 and higher, or whenever they introduced the uh, redstone locking, I will add an annotation, bottom right, in some place, once I confirm which exact version it's supported in. But uh, I am currently running the 1.5.1 version. Um, I will, this will most likely always use the utmost up-to-date version, and I will keep my world throughout the versions, and if I notice something breaking, uh, I'll try and update you guys. So, yeah, there's the, this, the, the orange is the, the, um, one tick pulse line, the magenta, well, is the T flip flop line. And the pink here is the output line. So whatever you want to connect, in this case the door I connected it to, will go on the pink output. This of course doesn't have to go that way. It could go that way. It could go that way. As long as it's at this level, it shouldn't interfere with any of these other blocks. This block right here is required to be there though, as that's obviously how that goes. Uh, like I said, you can change those around, and I will show you. This is a pretty small compared to my first build I made of it. <laughs> my first build was a lot bigger, and that's when I decided to start doing this. I came here, built this even smaller, based off my original. Sorry about that. Uh, here's it all broken down, all the sandstone removed. Just the wool. This is also why I use just well, it makes it really easy to pull it out of the sandstone. I left the button and just the indicator so you could tell where it's supposed to be. So, uh, just fly around here for you so you can get all the angles. Now, please note the timings on this. I think I tried this with this one on two and this one on three, and it doesn't work. This has to be on three and this has to be on two. Uh, this, I think, has to be right there. Otherwise, you won't get a one tick. Uh, these are just to send the redstone through the block. No, those t those don't really matter there. Actually, these have to be this. 
No, these do matter. You cannot have any extra delay on them, if I'm correct in thinking. Because I think then it'll cause these to not... No! It would be fine, actually. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a liar. It would be fine if you had delay on them, but it just makes the whole thing slower. Um, let me see. Is there anything? There's the output line, like I said. This matters as well. One tick on there. Four ticks on there. No ticks on there. So, uh, this is as fast as I can make it. And I know the, the block is pushed into the wall. I will be updating you with a version once I come up with something, that, like a piston that pushes that block in so it's more visible. Or if you guys have any other suggestions to make it more visible besides doing that because I'm really having a difficult time trying to compact that in here. I think I'm going to have to like expand this thing up. So uh, this is as fast as I can get it like this. So ready, click. Done. The time it takes for a button to go in and out, it's already done. So I'll explain really quick how it works. Uh, this is obviously, this just inverts the the uh, signal from the torch, or the button, I'm sorry. And it comes, it, following, following, following. It comes into the T flip flop here. Uh, this will turn off, but as this is on, it'll allow this to send it, start sending a signal. And then the button with the delay on, it'll hold the signal on because once this goes into this block, that torch will turn off and then once the power is back to being on, it will turn that off. Or it'll lock that back like that in the off position or on position. It always actually depends on which version it is. Basically, this is the output of the T flip flop. I use a torch here then to go up for the output and it will activate or deactivate this sticky piston. This is a sticky piston, which will move this between two different lines. Now, I'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, we go down here. We also, when this turns off, it'll activate the, when, when this line right here doesn't receive half power anymore, it'll activate the one tick pulse, sending out a pulse right here. Now, this has a little bit of a delay on it, obviously, which is perfect. This will toggle its state, retracting or extending. And depending on which state this is, depends on which piston activates for the one tick pulse. Now, the one tick pulse piston glitch, so I'm, I'm going to go with it, um, I, you could technically do this with sticky pistons too. Um, I just did it with regular ones. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think you really need the one tick delay on it, but it makes it faster. I want to go with, yeah, it makes it faster. That's my reasoning behind using the one tick delay or the one tick pulse, mainly because we specifically just have to activate this and then turn it off again. Otherwise, when you go to switch it over again, if the other piston is extended still, they won't mat or they won't this like this one won't. If this piston was extended and you tried to extend this one, even if they're supposed to toggle at the same time, there's I don't think I ever got it to work this piston would be in the way, it would retract, this piston already tried to extend and it failed, so it wouldn't toggle the indicator the, the wall would push the wall basically so the one tick pulse causes them to be retracted again quickly too so that way they're never in each other's way and you got your indicator you can of course swap these two wall blocks for anything you want, whatever you want it to be uh, it doesn't even have to be red and green. It could be, you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it sounded, sounded weird when I said that like that. But you get the picture. I just use red and green for open and close, secure, not secure, per example. Um, so yeah, that is the first one. They will, of course, be the MC Edit download, export in the 
description. And I pretty much did just walk you through it in this one. I know I said I wasn't really going to do that in my first one, but it was such a simple and small contraption. I'll just walk. I, I think as I walked you through it, you figured it out. If you didn't, and you need me to build it with you, or not with you, but make a video and build it, more of a tutorial, please, comments, just ask. I will gladly make a tutorial for you guys. So, yeah. Watch out for our next video coming very soon. Hint, hint. Uh, I still don't quite like that sign. Something's not right about it. I don't know. Pretty good, though. If anyone wants to see how I... Some of the workings of this, uh, please let me know as well. The MC Edit link, I should mention, will not be the floating one. That way you can actually... Like, see, it. it'll be the completed version in the ground, like this. I will even leave the door on, so you can, well, I'll leave the door on. You probably won't get any diamonds, though, so don't even, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll leave the door on just so you have the example. You can take this all out, replace all these sandstone blocks with whatever you want. You could even change the button to a wooden button. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So... Just so that way, depending on how you're playing, it's there for you. So, yeah. Comment. Leave your comments from me, please. If you like the series, you know, please watch for our next video and give me some feedback. I just want feedback from you guys, that's all. Just let me know how you like my videos. And if you want me to keep making them. Um... Yeah, so that's it. So talk to you guys some other time, hopefully in the comments. See ya.